Good day, my beloved brothers and sisters in Christ. In his last days, Pope John Paul II issued a profound and pressing caution to humanity. A prediction that now seems to be unfolding with remarkable precision. His prophetic utterances have gained fresh significance, with their manifestation becoming more apparent, especially concerning the United States. The comparisons made conjure vivid images akin to the biblical tales of Sodom and Gomorrah, the unfolding events and societal shifts in America bear an unsettling resemblance to the moral challenges faced by the ancient cities. May the embrace of sunlight fill your heart with affection. May any fleeting clouds swiftly vanish from sight. Wishing you abundant blessings for a delightful morning and a day filled with positivity. Your radiant presence brings joy to those around you. And for that, we are truly grateful. Receive this heartfelt blessing with the hope that your morning is prosperous in every endeavor. To ensure that as many people as possible see this video, kindly take a moment to share it and subscribe to this channel. May this message touch your heart and help to bring you closer to the conversion of souls and the conversion of sinners. If you believe so, please type Amen. A morning prayer sets the tone for a day adorned with blessings, ensuring a path of favor and grace. An evening prayer a comforting exhale assures a night of restful security before delving into the core content of this video. Let's unite in prayer, Holy Spirit, Divine Counselor, and source of all wisdom. I invite your presence into my heart and mind. Enlighten my understanding that I may discern your will in all things. Grant me clarity and insight as I navigate the challenges and decisions of life. Oh my God! You know my great poverty and misery, and that of myself, I can do nothing. You know how unworthy I am of this infinite favor, and you alone can make me worthy, since you are so good as to invite me thus to yourself. Add this one bounty more to all the rest, to prepare me for yourself. Never let me be guilty of your body and blood, by an unworthy communion, for the sake of this same precious blood which you have shed for me. Deliver me, O Jesus, from so great an evil. Amen. As we see these things happening, the meaning of what Pope John Paul II said is becoming clearer. It makes us think about what it might mean for our country and the whole world. The prophecy seems to be coming true based on what's happening now. This makes us wonder about how society acts, what's considered right or wrong, and the moral direction we're all going in as we move through history together. Now the message will be shared with all of you, children of our King and Lord Jesus Christ. The Most Holy Trinity sent me. I partake in the Divine Word with you as Prince of the Heavenly Legions. The Divine Love that it has for every one of its children never wanes. It never stops. You are more vulnerable to the Devil's grasp. The further you drift from our King and Lord Jesus Christ, when a person turns his back on the divine will, what does he gain? He's successful in descending into darkness, after emerging from hell to inspire you to carry out bad deeds. In the year 2024, America is predicted to encounter a significant challenge from a higher power. The nation is expected to confront a series of natural disasters, including seven earthquakes, eight floods, 12 storms, and an unusual disease. The potential impact of these events on the entire country underscores the importance of human preparedness to mitigate potential damages in the year 2024. Something really bad will happen across America. Nature will get mad and cause a big disaster. There will be seven earthquakes of 448 and 12 floods all at the same time. The ground in the cities will shake a lot because of earthquakes it will catch everyone by surprise. The shaking will be so strong that it will knock down buildings and mess up roads and neighborhoods. It will be tough for the people in those places at the same time. The sky will let out heavy rains. The rain will fill up rivers, creeks, and lakes way more than usual. The water will flood the streets in cities, covering houses and making neighborhoods like big puddles. The floods will be everywhere from the coasts 
to the middle of the country. It will be a big watery mess in the big cities. The earthquakes and floods will make everything go crazy. Buildings will fall because of the shaking and the floods will cover whole city blocks with dirty water and stuff. People will have to leave their homes and it will be hard for the people who try to help in the countryside. The earthquakes will make rocks and dirt fall on roads so no one can get through. The floods will also cover farmlands, ruining the crops and making it hard to get food. Both the cities and the countryside will have a really tough time fixing everything and getting back to normal. This will be a really hard time for everyone in America and they'll have to work together to fix everything and start over. It will be a big challenge, but people will help each other and try to make things better. People, especially people in America, must take action to prevent the tragedy right now. Reading the Holy Bible every day and going to the churches are the actions that can protect your nation. In the past, a prophecy was only partially revealed to prevent alarming people and from revealing important information about the church of our King and Lord Jesus Christ. I love you, I bless you, and protect you. Genesis 19 24 25 Then the Lord rained down burning sulfur on Sodom and Gomorrah from the Lord out of the heavens. Thus, he overthrew those cities and the entire plain, destroying all those living in the cities and also the vegetation in the land. The consequences of God's judgments are profound, extending beyond the destruction of the cities themselves. The entire plain, including the vegetation, is affected. This suggests a comprehensive and far-reaching impact on the landscape. The destruction of Sodom and Gomorrah is not only a historical account, but holds theological significance in various religious traditions. It has been a subject of interpretation, teaching, and discussion across centuries. Now let's join in prayer. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle, be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray, and do thou. O H Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all evil spirits who wander through the world for the ruin of souls. Amen. Thank you for watching till the end of our video. Our brothers and sisters, without fear and with more faith than in the past, let us continue in faith, stay blessed, and continue to pray for God to show all of us his graces and blessings. God bless us and protect. U.S. Amen.